Hello, this is the Golden Ribbon and today we're going to be looking at a special topic, a special tutorial on Boolean operations or Boolean modes or Boolean operators or Boolean editors in Inkscape. You can find that in Path in the file menu at the top and you'll see difference, union, division, intersection, exclusion, combine and also break apart and they make up the boolean operations and there's a lot of confusion surrounding those operations how to use them and how to anticipate the outcome so we're going to demystify what they are and what they do looking at each individual one and comparing them to the next so that we can be confident in what the outcome is going to be when we use them and we'll find that when we analyze them that they go right down to a basic principle of the math basic operations which is addition subtraction division um, not multiplication in this case but addition subtraction and division okay so we're in Inkscape now and we're looking at union difference intersection exclusion division cut path combine and break apart these are the boolean modes so the first one we're looking at is union Union can unify as many elements which are objects and paths as you wish together. The union, like the first five, will derive their information, their color information, from the object, from the object or path that has the lowest layer or the lowest step in the order or in the hierarchy of elements on the page that you are selecting so if out of these three boxes that i select the gray has the lowest layer or the lowest step then the whole new shape that's created by the union will derive its color information from this so you see the crown it has the dominance here so when we unify them, go into path and unify, we notice that everything turns gray. So all the previous objects, when crafted into this new shape, derive their color from the gray to create this new shape. Good. And we're going to run one more test. And we're going to just join them up together so we can see they're joined up and go to path and union you can also hit control shift and plus sign with all three of them selected and it also unifies and we get the gray and we can see here this is a brand new shape not maintaining the same elements that were that made it brand new shape okay then this operation is akin to the addition operation in mathematics so we just simply adding the elements together to get a new element and so as the name suggests works just like subtraction where we can only use two elements in this instance to subtract or to differ uh, to do the difference operation but it operates very similar to the union the black or the gray box here is lower well in fact this time okay can i see which one is lower that shouldn't be one of them should be lower higher let's just lift one up good the yellow is higher in this instance so the gray will be the one that retains the color from the new shape now in this instance the active object is the object that's doing the cutting wherever i place this cutter on where I want to cut the next shape on is what will be left in the new shape so if we just bring down the opacity a little bit this area here and this area here will be cut to leave the gray so wherever the yellow interacts with the gray the gray is what will be left from the interaction so you're going to get path difference and we're left with the
the gray box right here. All right, and if we duplicate it and reverse the order and have the gray on top and select the yellow and go path, we expect it to cut it about here, path and difference, good. So the difference between wherever the black is involved, so wherever the gray is involved, it will be removed and anything that in the gray interacts with will also be removed as well in the difference. Similar to our straightforward subtraction where this could be imagine could be four and this could be three and then what's left is the one piece that's cut intersection now intersection works slightly different best way we can look at intersection is by observing a venn diagram type of thing so wherever these two objects cut each other is where the intersection will leave for us to use i like to think of the intersection as the lcm the lowest common multiple that is common to both the gray and the green and that is what's left so when we cut these two objects let's bring them down to test them and when we intersect them we can go to path and intersect. We're left with the gray. Good. Knowing that the gray is the lowest element in the order of these two elements that we selected, and thus the color information will be retained for the lower element, which is the gray. So when we intersect it, the gray color is what's dominant. The exclusion now, we're looking at the LCM or the common ground between the two objects being removed. So, if we select these two, uh, select these two, let's draw two circles actually, just quickly, presenting these two. We put the green below this time, just to emphasize. So if we select these two, what we expect the exclusion to do is to remove the section where the green and the gray intersect. So as it's the opposite of the intersection, where the intersection just shows you that piece that is common to both, the exclusion omits that piece that is common to both. So if we go to path and exclusion, good. We notice that the green, which was at the lower layer, retains the color because it was lower in the order. And the intersection is removed. Division modes, division. This works just as division was taught to you in primary school. And as you're taught division, you're taught that if A divided by B is a perfect divisible, so say that's four divided by two, you get two, you'd, it'd be two and zero remainders. In the same way, if it was three divided by two, you would have you would have one as the answer with a remainder of one. So it would be written something like um, three divided by two is equal to one remainder one. In the same way, the division operator in Inkscape uses the remainder principle. So we have a block here and if we reduce the opacity of this block we can see that the black
covers the yellow and the green. So if we add the green to the yellow via a union and have two shapes right here, what is supposed to be left, because the yellow is on top, it is the object that's going to be doing the major dividing. It is going to see what the divisible is out of the two objects and it's going to also leave what's left after you divide, after you discover what's here, this intersection, this divisible. So it's going to give you the, what the divider is as well as what's left or what the remainder is after you've divided. So once we click these both and go to path and division and we notice that we see a black box but what we also see is that there are two boxes here and we put them in a different color make it easier for us to see use this green we can see that what's left is the divisible or the answer as well as the remainder and the two objects take the color information from the object that was the lowest in the layer hierarchy or the step hierarchy of the elements and so let's reverse it and do it the other way so we can see let's just put the opacity down so because the black is the active object we're going to be left with this section here which is what's common to both and also the remainder so let's do it path division and we have just that this section that the divisible that was the root of of this divide and we have the remainder okay now we're looking at the boolean modes combine now looking at the combine is very similar to the union however with the combine the first thing that you'll notice is that the object or the L the path that is highest on the scale is also the object or path that will be dominant in the color scale so if this is higher than the green and the black which indeed it is then the then the yellow or the black then the green is what will maintain dominance in the new shape created after we use combine so let's do that then let's combine them path and combine and we notice that the green which is the highest which was the highest object in the order then is the is the color that is transferred to the rest of the elements in the new shape also if we duplicate it let's check some more features of this thing going to bring them together like we did for the unify and we're going to go path and combine so the green is maintained and the nodes are here also but if we select the nodes holding shift that belong to the first object and pull down we notice that this that the shape for the original elements that formed this combined shape we can actually we can actually separate them they're still part of the same they're still part of the same combination but they are not destructively combined or unified together we can move them around and maintain the shape that was that was there in the previous three we can also change the color and the color will will um will be uniform across the um the different elements 
So the second thing that we notice about the combine is that it is a non-destructive edit. We can still get back the same elements that we used to create it. The only thing that's, that's common across the three is that they share the same space. If we move one, we move all of them. And the color is also the same for all the elements involved. Okay, we're going to be looking at cut path now. Cut path is an exclusive for paths. This operation works similar to the color information also as the previous five Boolean modes where the color will be derived from the path that is lower in the in the order or in the hierarchy on the layer hierarchy but this will cut a path specifically so wherever the dominant wherever the active path that's going to be the cutting is placed it will cut the path below it it's very similar to difference but for paths so if we hold shift and select the gray or black path and we go to path cut path we'll notice that there is this very thin cut here where the path was placed and we can move it around as a new shape or as a new path and also we also notice that it maintains the color from the gray because the gray was the lowest part was the lowest element in the hierarchy Lastly, we're going to look at break apart. Break apart is also non-destructive, meaning that it maintains the node groupings of the original shape. So we're going to look at what it actually does. Here's an example. If we have a rectangle with a hole in the middle of the rectangle and we apply break apart, it will create a shape out of this hole and will fill this shape so that there is no hole. And so you have two separate shapes. So let's try that. Let's duplicate it. Let's delete these. Duplicate it and let's go to path and break apart. Now it's going to give the new shape a gray. So we're going to change it into a different color. And we notice that we have two separate shapes. Also, if we have a shape that say combined path combine and we move them apart or put them together and we go to path break apart we get the two shapes we use to combine Also, if we have two shapes and we unify them, path union, and we go to path break apart, it will break apart the union. In the same way, if we bring them together and we difference these two, that's difference and we go to path, break apart, it will give us the same shapes that we used. So break apart is a non-destructive edit. What separates the break apart and the combine from the rest of the five of the Boolean modes is that they are non-destructive edits meaning that you can retain the same shape used or the same shapes used in the joining via the edit and you can get back those shapes without using undo so it is non-destructive those shapes are maintained even in the combination and in the same way, break apart maintains the shapes which are 
the no groups in the same way that they were found or in the same way that they were in their original form therefore it is non-destructive I hope this tutorial helped if you liked it give it a thumbs up and as always and to another tutorial get up and design